All right, guys, today we are going to be talking about the Topps Tom Brown Tracker. And today we're going to be going into everything you need to know about the Topps TB Tracker. As always, please don't forget to comment, like, share, subscribe, check out the Patreon, the Instagram. Sport means a ton. And in this video, I'm not going to be going over so much of my use as I've done reviews on this knife already. Several reviews, in fact. And today, I'm really just digging into the history and why or why not you might want to add the Topps TB or Tom Brown tracker to your collection. So this is one that has quite a storied past. So without any further ado, let's just jump into it. Okay, so the Topps Tom Brown Tracker. This guy was made by Topps in the early 2000s, and we can't really talk about the tracker without talking about Tom Brown himself, because so much of what this knife is, as the name implies, is based off of Tom Brown. Now, Tom Brown is a self-proclaimed survival instructor, naturalist, tracker um, individual, and he's quite a personality. He has several books where he essentially details his life growing up and how an Apache taught him how to track uh, wild animals and how he applied that to his life. And it's a good book and whether or not it's dramatized, fantasized, uh, you know, that part aside, it, you can't really, um, like I said, you have to acknowledge that fact and that plays such a large role into the tracker's design and its overall purpose. Now, tracking is basically what this knife was designed for and in tracking or when you're tracking things, at least what I believe, I don't really do tracking myself, but I do a lot of scouting and scouting, reconnoitering or recce um, tracking are all very similar uh, types of things that you might do and essentially in those types of activities movement is key movement and mobility are prioritized over everything and that's why i've talked about in other videos why i go with a scouting knife that is a multi-role blade capable of doing things such as being a stand-in for a saw a hatchet an axe and of course a knife and so that boils us down to the tracker that is essentially what the tracker was originally designed to be when you are prioritizing prioritizing movement or mobility over everything, it ends up being that your focus is put on mobility and so you need a blade that is essentially designed to be a multifunctional knife. And so truly, to, true to form as the blade looks, it's designed to be a hatchet, a knife, and a saw. Now, once again, it will likely leave you disappointed if you get into this blade thinking that it's going to perform like a Baco Laplander as far as a saw. It's going to perform like a GBA wildlife hatchet as a hatchet and that it's going to perform as some form of a bushcrafting knife for the knife. This is very much a multi-tool and similar to how we view, you know, Leatherman multi-tools or pliers, you know, they're good pliers, but they're not, they're no replacement for a true pair of needle nose or, pl or pliers. So, you know, this is essentially that. This is a multi-tool blade, and so it's go not going to be a true replacement for any one tool, but it's meant to be a stopgap for multiple tools. So this, of course, wild blade design ended up leading it to be used in the 2003 film Hunted or The Hunted, where the main protagonist was a tracker, uh, an FBI, you know, investigator who had tracking backgrounds. So obviously the tracker with its wild blade shape and its provenance related to Tom Brown, uh, obviously made for a really great blade for the main protagonist. And they featured it, used it, in that movie. And that is part of what brought this blade to such a pre predominant um, kind of role on the scene of like wilderness life. People saw it in the movie and they wanted it, of course, in their life. And of course, like I said, with such a wild blade shape, it's very attention grabbing. Now, I will say the other part of what blew this blade up or made it more popular was in the 2010s and late 2000s, like 2008, 2009, there was a large push of survivalists and wilderness instructors, survival, you know, people in general who pushed to have thick one tool option blades. And once again, the tracker was brought to predominance in that regard because it was designed to be a one tool option. It was a thick, beefy blade. This thing comes in at 21 ounces. 
So essentially, that is what this blade is, and that's its history in a nutshell. Now, who is this blade for? Why should you collect it? Now, I will say this part. If you are not seriously intending to use this blade as a one-tool option for things like scouting, recce, tracking, if that's what you do, um, this blade is complete hype, and you will probably not like it. This blade is very much designed for those who are willing to sacrifice the advantages of any one given tool for the advantage of a multi-tool. Think of it similar to why someone would carry a multi-tool over having a pair of needle nose pliers. You know, the needle nose pliers are going to be for someone who has a serious job to do that requires those pliers on a regular, normal basis. Whereas someone like myself, who might casually use pliers maybe once or twice or three times, you know, a week, you know, we're not realistically using them as a trade profession or, you know, it's like a professional individual. So we can afford to take the loss of mobility, dexterity, and quality for functionality. So if that is you, this blade might be for you. In addition to, this blade is also collectible for its provenance in its relation to Tom Brown Jr. and also the movie The Hunted. If, the, if you are a fan of either of those two or if you've read Tom Brown's books and you really like this story, this blade also might be for you. Just make no mistake, you know, when you buy this, it, you are getting a thick piece of quarter inch thick 1095 differentially heat treated and it's also a multi-role blade this thing is not designed to be you know the best or most precise bushcrafting blade it's also not going to be the best hatchet or saw but a mixture of all of the above so that's the understanding of this blade and essentially its history why you might want it, why you might not want it. And like I said, there's a good number of people that probably honestly don't need this blade. Now, one thing I will say, if you do end up buying the blade, I would recommend throwing a companion knife like I did on this because that having that companion knife does help you do fine tasks with a lot greater ease. Anyways, guys, that is the TB Tracker in a nutshell. Hopefully you enjoyed the video. As always, God bless, and I'm out.